Old Lappy. New Lappy. Slimline units. Uh, show you what the front looks like off the unit there. And I need to do, I've made a video on the Dell, but it still hasn't made it online. I need to, I think I need to reshoot it, but that's another video. Um, the other one of these I got was just fine without a hitch. I've actually installed a Xubuntu on it, play with it. might become a web server, I don't know. This one, I just stuck an old stick of 128 in it, uh, because it had some troubleshooting to do. Uh, see, it did not want to boot. Just a red light that's slightly under the power supply was blinking. Now, one thing interesting is this is a nearly stock Intel Micro ATX motherboard. And the other, the rest of the slots are actually underneath the power supply, unusable. But four DIMM slots in a slimline case, that's almost unheard of. Now these both had a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Pentium 4 processor. However, that turned out to be the problem with this computer. Is this it? Yeah, here's the. Let you get a look at the that processor real quick, but it would not will would not and still will not boot with that processor in it. So I. Uh, dug around and I found a Celeron 2.2 I shoved in and it's running with it. Now, brings to another little problem I'm having with this unit. I downloaded the uh, BIOS for this uh, computer from Intel's website and it's saying uh, it no match. Now what I'm thinking the problem is is that it's got a gateway BIOS on it and that changes the BIOS ID. So I do intend to see if gateway has a BIOS that will, uh, what's the word, uh, get me up to date. Otherwise I may have to, uh, I know there's basically a recovery flash method that essentially does it by brute force. I may have to try that one just to get a stock Intel BIOS on it, which I'm perfectly fine with a Intel bio, you know, the Intel BIOS on this thing. In fact, it's probably newer and can do more stuff than the Gateway counterpart ever could. But the reason I want to go ahead and flash it is because I, I don't want to keep this thing with a 2.2 though. I've got this 2.8 Pentium 4 right here, and while the board supports it, uh, it doesn't support all of the uh, 2.8s. Now, it's got heat goo on it, so I can't read it very well, but uh, I think the pr reason it won't take this is I think it just needs a newer BIOS. It'll take some of the 2.8s, but not some of the newer ones, and I'm guessing this is just a newer 2.8 based on the manufacture date of the machine and it not taking because I think this 2.8 came out of a computer made in 2005 but anyway that's uh, that story so I s still got some stuff to do so one thing is that uh, the, I know you're not supposed to use sticky labels on CDs but ah, it was convenient is and which is kind of surprising is these machines do not have floppy drives now underneath the power supply connector there and I'm sure that's smart doing this while the machines running but there is a floppy disk connector uh, actually dual PETA channels and a couple SATA connectors and then what's really neat is this hard drive cage uh, okay I mean, <laughs> this is turning into a full-blown demonstration of this gateway, which is not what I intended. Okay, here's the hard drive cage, and if you look, it's spring-loaded. Ah, uh, hold on. Here's a hard drive uh, I need to deban, but I can deban it in this computer just quite easily. Whoa, shizzle! That's what I get for trying to do it one-handed. Okay, let's try this again. 
which there are these little things that stick out and go into the screw holes. So let's see if I can. Oh, you know what? I'm a dork. It helped if I put the thing right side up, and I just noticed this has a shield on the bottom. I guess that's Western Digital's answer to the Seagate C shield. Yeah, that's more like it. And the uh, little prongs are roughly lined up with the screw holes, so what you do is you pull this out, it drops down, and your hard drive's installed. Probably take takes them five seconds to install that at the factory for the hard drives. Oh, uh, uh, you don't see really cool engineering like this anymore. And while Dell I made some really cool toolless cases, I really think Gateway takes the cake on them. I've got another an Athlon base machine that my knee's hitting right now, and the uh, Pentium 4 ME machine it, that my other leg is hitting that use a really cool toolless system. Okay, next next thing. Uh, I'm sure many of my subscribers are uh, subscribers of YouTube user UXW Bill. Well, um, and by the way, if you're not subscribed to him, you should be. Um, he's talking about his blog TV show, and I'll just sit here for a second. I'm sure you've read it. Um, I here's what happens. He did this. Son of a stupid gnat. Uh, he did his first show and used the color bar generator as kind of seen right here from his video and I know he will be perfectly cool using this. I probably should ask him anyway. But uh... Well, on my Nexo, just as a joke, I just pulled up a color bar image on a computer and using a uh, scan converter put that into my show in a couple places for fun. Well, you know, that idea was inspired by this, but then I had the idea to use the WeatherStar emulator, which just Google for WeatherStar 4000 emulator and you'll find a website. It's, uh, once you get the hang of it, it takes about 30 minutes to configure and they're actually working on a new version of it because it's not um, a perfect piece of software by any means, but it's... Uh, it runs great for a fun, novelty uh, piece of software. It's a, It can be a lot of fun. But, uh, the, what the hell am I trying to say? But I just ran it on an old laptop, the same one I used for the color bar through the scan converter. And uh, it ran fine on the show. I ran it both as a direct upload and as a, uh, on a TV behind me. Now, if you want to know what I mean by the TV behind me, you'll have to watch my show. And just so you know, I do intend to post um, to YouTube an uh, edited version of what UXW Bill referred to as his cameo, a.k.a. when he hacked into my show. You know what? That would work a lot easier if I flipped the screen around so I could see. Oh, dang, my bedroom's a mess. Uh... But I've been having all kinds of trouble ripping the DVD of the recording, so I uh, this I want to I wanted to have it up, you know, like Friday or Monday, and then stuff didn't work. So kind of like the gateway over there, <laughs> kind of like that gateway over there, just nothing wants to work right. And yes, the infamous ceiling fan clothes drying rack. <laughs> okay, I got a couple because yeah, I'm just gonna pull a full blown New York W bill and do a video log thing. Just to, I've been kind of wanting to do an apology to you guys. Uh, everything I've done for almost the past month has related to blog TV in some way or another, and I've been kind of letting you down on making videos because especially last week's, uh, I moved my whole setup as some. I don't know if I made a video of it, but I moved my whole setup down to the basement. And then, while well, it's never 100% been said, um, the intrusion hacking incident between UXW Bill and I, um, we'd, been we'd been planning that for a week prior, so I had to get everything uh, set up for that. So literally, 
every night last week was I had to do something almost every night every night I had to do something related to getting the blog TV set up so anyway uh, and I might add for my blog TV uh, watchers I'm missing a seventh grade football game tomorrow night for you guys okay okay another quick addition to the vlog uh, I thought I had one more thing I wanted to respond to on that UXW Bill video, but, uh, have to, okay, uh, but I wanted to show this real quick, uh, another thing is, uh, I think you may have seen this in a few video. well, you haven't seen this one yet, uh, I got a new work lappy, so it is a ProBook 4530S, uh, my old one is a 4510S, they're both pretty similarly specced, Except for one large change. Uh, this one has a dual core i5 processor in it. Which is a huge upgrade. Now it's a, kind of a long story how I ended up with this somewhat early upgrade. But but I'm happy to get it. Uh, it should make video editing really nice. But uh, the thing is, is the, it's, this has 4 gigs of RAM just like the 4510 did. Uh, the 4510 had a Core 2 Duo in it, and uh, uh, running the Windows Experience Index, the the it went. My experience went from like 3.4 to 4.7 overall. A big part of that due to the processor upgrade, uh, graphics being a big one too. But uh, but uh, both had 4 gigs of RAM. The 4510 had a uh, originally came with 320 gig hard drive it died three months out of warranty so we put I put a uh, 500 gig was like 10 bucks more so we went ahead and just put a 500 in and this one has a 500 gig in it so and then the i5 processor now I haven't uh, uh, shoot, I gotta go to all programs. It hasn't shown up yet. I've got some of my stuff installed. I got Audacity on there, which I need. I use Audacity on a weekly basis. Got my FUBAR 2000 installed. Uh, what am I going to... Where is it? There we go. Hold on. Cell phone. That's my mom. <laughs> Okay, uh, after that, that was my mom calling, uh, um, there we go, I'm getting a couple of, I'm wanting to get something loaded up to show you guys, but, uh, I am, this is just a demo version, but I am planning on payday, uh, come on, load darn you, loading pretty quick though, uh, Okay, that was my parents on the phone. My mom specifically, though. I hung up talking to my dad. <laughs> Wishing me a happy birthday. Yes, today is my birthday. I turned 32 today. Uh, I'm getting to be an old fart. <laughs> uh, okay. But uh, we're my mom and I are kind of planning a couple things out. We're going to have a family get-together on Friday. Down at their place. Last year I got to have my birthday party up here. And it's not going to happen that way this year, sadly. But, let's... I... This is still the trial version, but... I've got Vegas 11 here. I'm going to use to edit this video eventually. And, uh, see if I can notice a speed difference with the... Running the i5 processor. And, of course, um, I do intend to purchase the upgrade from 9. That's actually about $65 to upgrade from 9. So, that'll be a savings. That'll be a nice little savings. And it'll give me a... So, it's cheaper than mine, the full 11. And it'll give me a nice little... Uh, what's the word? Um, upgrading features I can have. I have actually done a few... Uh, video edits where I have run out of video channels here so I'll have uh, more video channels so that'll be a good thing uh, let's yeah there we go I'll probably end up moving it over uh, where I got the gateway setting so I can use the uh, 
17 inch CRT for this screen right here for my preview. Uh, just looking at it, I think this is going to be nice. But uh, I have actually run out of video channels before and had to kind of. I did the edit didn't look as good as it I wanted to do. Uh, the video I did where I ran out of uh, video channels was um, uh, what video was it? It was the Weasel reacts to the uh, UXW Bill slideshow. Uh, that's what it was. Uh, Weasel reacts to Weasel 2HTM putting objects on his head or something like that. It's a reasonably recent video of mine. <sighs> but, okay, I'm going to finish this vlog now. And you see me looking around the room, and I am looking around the room in attempt to uh, see if there's uh, anything... Uh, else that I need to uh, mention in the video but I am running out of things to mention and if you notice amongst the mess um, it's getting a little late for me up oh, just turned eight o'clock I need to do a video on that clock radio sometime even though I don't ever use the radio part um, I like it as a clock well wait actually it's about 756 I keep forgetting this thing's fast. The but I get up at like 5 a.m. So when it hits 8 o'clock is when I start thinking about getting ready for bed. So anyway, let me zoom this out and start getting ready for uh, to edit this video and plunk this on there. Okay, I am editing the vlog video you're watching right now. I'm doing this as a quick recording, and I'm almost out of camera battery. But that will be remedied tomorrow night during the vlog TV show, and my camcorder will be plugged into the uh, power converter. The DC adapter, whatever. But anyway, um, I would mentioned on a V West Life video about Sony Vegas not, uh, that I couldn't figure out how to do an audio transition. And, um, Syntax Video kind of, um, mentioned, oh, you just do this and something, I can't remember what all he said. But, uh, I've been kind of thinking about that. See, I haven't had a chance to get into Vegas since then, until tonight. And I happen to remember seeing something, and I just kind of tested it. I'm not going to show you, just for quickness of the video. But, uh, it's like, that's how you do a simple fade transition with, it's like, Oh my gosh, that is, that is so much more simple and uh, easier than Adobe Premiere, which I've mentioned that I've used. I'm not, I've never gotten very deep into it, but I can use it, and I liked it, and uh, this is, uh, Vegas just gained a fair bit more respect of mine, of course not to mention the fact that you can actually afford it realistically without being a video production company but uh, I have no need to do any crazy fades with uh, this video that I'm editing they are simple cuts of work yeah you can tell I'm getting tired yeah, I'm 32 now I'm an old man for crying out quiet but uh, I'm gonna quickly finish this up and throw it into my uh, explorer pile of stuff to make in the video and I just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to Syntex Video. And uh, a quick, uh, just for kicks and grins, a quick shout out and thanks to UXW Bill for the shout out in this video. <laughs> uh, a shout out, a thank you, a ship. Okay, yeah, my brain's gone down the pan. It's, well, not down the pan, it's, my brain's already in bed. <laughs> Alright, good night guys.